my channel. So today's video is gonna be Halloween themed treats. Nana is my little helper here and we made six different treats today to show you guys. They were all really easy. None of them require any type of baking or anything that has to go in the oven or even on top of the stove. So they're very, very simple and easy little crafts and you can make them with your kids. I didn't even spend that much money for six different treats. I spent under $50 so that means that it's not even $10. Each. I had a lot of fun making this video today, so I really hope that you guys enjoy it. And if you want to see the Halloween treats that we made this year, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first treat that we're going to start with here are these adorable banana ghost and clementine pumpkins. These are healthy for you and delicious. So we need these clementines, some celery, a knife, and a bunch of bananas. Then you're gonna need something to make the eyes and the faces on your ghost. So you can use nuts, you can use any type of chocolate, raisins, you can be creative with what you use to make their faces. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is unpeel all of my clementines. Then I'm gonna put those to the side and I'm gonna start working on my celery. Now this might be easier for you guys to watch than me to try to explain it, but basically I'm just gonna cut the celery in half then I'm gonna cut it in half again and then I'm just going to place them right into the clementines and these are gonna be our stems and I think they look so, so cute. So here are what our little pumpkins look like when they are all finished and now we're gonna start working on these ghosts. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just unpeel all of our bananas. I'm gonna be working with two today so I'm just gonna cut them both in half and this is gonna make four little ghosts for us. So I'm just gonna arrange them here on my plate and now this is the fun part. I'm just gonna start making their faces. So I like to start off with the eyes. The first one I am using two chocolate chips for his eyes. Then I'm gonna be using another chocolate chip for his mouth. The next guy, I'm using these peanut butter chocolate chips. He looks so cute, I'm gonna be using the same thing, a regular chocolate chip for his mouth. And then this third guy right here, I'm actually using raisins, and this one was so delicious to eat. The last little guy here, I think that he's the creepiest because he has white chocolate chip eyes and he looks like a zombie or something. And then I'm gonna be using a regular chocolate chip for his mouth. So here they are and there they all dropped. So I'm just gonna zoom in and not pick them up again. I think they're so adorable and there they are with the little pumpkins. Really healthy, easy to make, I love these. So the next thing that we're gonna make are these monster donuts. This one was probably the easiest out of everything that I show you guys today. So you're gonna need a box of donuts, some red food gel. You're also gonna need something to make a mouth. These are dollar lollipops that I picked up from Dollar Tree. They have a lollipop in the back, but you don't really need that. Target has some fake little vampire teeth. Again, you don't have to use exactly what I'm showing you guys here as long as it's along the same lines. And then I'm using these crispy googly eyes, also from the Dollar Tree. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just pop in the mouth to the middle of every single donut. I'm gonna try and twist it around to find the best spot so that I have enough room for the eyes. I'm just gonna play around with it. Then you're gonna take a little bit of your food gel, and this is basically just gonna act as our glue. So I'm gonna put it onto the back of each eyeball and then just place them onto each donut. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that food gel and cover up any cracks. This also acts like a little bloody I guess mess that you can put all over the donut, especially on that vampire guy, so just cover up. And here's my sister blocking my frame because she's taking a picture because they turned out so adorable and they were extra delicious, so I love these. The next treat that we're gonna be making are these Oreo eyeballs. This is another really, really simple one. So all you need are some double stuffed Oreos, your same red food gel, 
some Lifesaver gummies, and some M&Ms. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just twist open every Oreo. This is something that we did as little kids. I always used to throw away the top one without the cream. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna put them to the side because we don't need them. Now I'm gonna pick out the Lifesaver gummies that I wanna use for my eyes. I just chose all green ones because I thought it would look a little bit weird to have red eyes or orange, but you can use whatever you like. I'm gonna use our red food gel as the glue here and I'm just going to press them down on each Oreo. Next, I'm going to take out my brown M&Ms because they're going to be the pupil or the middle of the eye. And I'm just going to press that in the center of each lifesaver and then kind of flatten down the whole entire thing to make it look a little bit more realistic. Then I'm going to go in with my red food gel once again and I'm going to kind of just go around and make little squiggly lines. I guess these are like those little veins in your eyes, I guess. I don't know, I thought it looked cute and a little bit more scary, kind of like a zombie's eye. So then they are all done. So next we're gonna be making these witches brooms. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is some pretzel sticks, some mozzarella string cheese. I have cilantro here, but you can use anything. You can use parsley, you can use celery, and you're also gonna need a knife. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just unwrap my string cheese and cut it into three little segments. Then I'm gonna turn them around and I'm going to cut them vertically. No, vertically or horizontally? I'm not sure, just watch what I'm doing here. I'm kind of just making the little end of the broom. I want it to look pretty realistic, so I'm just going to cut little slices and then I'm just going to open it up a little bit with my fingers. And that's definitely vertical, now I remember trying to think back into my school days, that's vertical. So now I'm going to pop in a pretzel stick into each little cheese. And last but not least, I ended up using celery here because it was the easiest to tie. I'm just going to tie a little bit at the end of each broomstick. And they are all done. So the next tree are these witches hats. I used to make these all the time in elementary school. They're so, so easy. So you're gonna need some chocolate kisses, some cookies, your red food gel, and that is it. So you just wanna flip your cookies over. You're gonna unwrap your Hershey Kisses. Then I'm gonna take my red food gel and I'm gonna be very generous with this because I want it to come out from the edges. As you can see here, it will form into a perfect circle and it looks exactly like a little witch's hat. These are so simple so you can make a big batch of them for a class or for your kids or even to hand them out around Halloween time. So I love these and they're very, very simple. And the last treat that I'm gonna show you guys are these adorable Oreo spider cookies. This is probably my favorite one right here. So you're gonna need some Oreos, some pull and peel Twizzlers, and your red food gel. And of course, for the eyeballs, we're gonna be using M&Ms. So the first thing you wanna do is just pull apart your legs, which are gonna be the pull and peel Twizzlers. I was going to put, I think, three legs on each spider on each side. My sister informed me that it needed to be four legs on each side, so make sure you cut off a bunch of those. And then I'm just going to place them right into the Oreo, and then I'm just gonna place the top right back on top. This is really, really simple, easy for kids to do, and a lot of fun. Next, I'm gonna be using the M&Ms as my little eyeball, so I'm gonna pick out whatever colors I want, and I'm gonna be using my food gel as my glue here. So I'm just gonna put a little dollop on each Oreo and then place down the eyes. How adorable are these guys? They are so, so cute. And that is actually all of the recipes that I wanted to show you guys today. Overall, just have fun with everything. It doesn't have to be neat, doesn't have to be perfect. Do this with your kids, do this with your friends. You're just supposed to have a lot of fun with these recipes, so don't sweat it too much. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time. Mwah. Bye! Say something to the camera, my love. This is a little baby Halloween bat. Halloween bat! Halloween bat! Whoop whoop! What's up? What's up? All my homies.
homies on the left. All my homies on the right. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs>